Welcome to the session for Provider Account Management for Assistive Technology Claims, or AT Claims. Going to the Provider Account Management menu, Provider Billing, AT Claim Entry. First, we'll discuss the individual fields that apply to an AT claim. Authorization number, which is required the service date, the HCPCS code or HICPIX code, which has a drop down, the provider patient account number, which is optional, number of units, and total charges. In order to enter a claim today, we're going to search by child to pull up the applicable authorization. Provider Account Management, Provider Billing Search, Authorizations. We're going to search by child last name. The applicable authorizations show in a list and can be viewed select the hourglass to view the authorization detail. Specific authorization components can be viewed in the top portion authorization number, types, dates, providers, etc. On the authorization line, you'll notice the HICPIX code, the description, the quantity, and the cost. We're going to enter the claim from here by selecting the Claim Entry button below. Notice that the authorization number is pre-populated as well as the HICPIX code. We'll fill in the service date. Select the provider name from the drop-down, number of units, and total charges. I'm deliberately exceeding the authorization amount to show an example of what happens with claim adjudication edits. I'm going to add the claim to the claim detail. Check the claim. Check claim is complete and ready for submission. Now I'm going to hit the submit button. Notice we have the new claim ID. I'm going to pull up valid claims from the search. Again, using the child last name. Here's the specific claim that I entered for the child, $1,000. And we're going to select the, hour, the magnifying glass Notice on the claim line detail, the date of service, the code, the units, the amount billed, and the amount disallowed. The net of 500 reflects that the original authorization allowed 500 for that particular item.
for an example so you can see how to avoid a claim, I'm going to hit correct claim, which brings that claim back up, and now I'm going to select void. The system will ask, are you sure you want to avoid this claim, and I'm going to select OK. In the information bar, you can see that this claim was successfully voided. Now let's start again with the search on the authorization, and this time we will enter the claim correctly. As you can see now in the claim line detail, I've submitted the claim for the device with the amount billed as $500 and the net as $500. This is a good claim and a claim that will be available to be paid. This concludes the session on entering an AT claim.